Hey guys, my name is Ibrahim Chim, and in today's video, we'll be unpacking the PSVR 2. So as you guys know, recently, uh, Sony PlayStation, they have had a, uh, a lot of PSVRs in the back, and they wanted to get some of them sold as quickly as they could. So they offered a $200 discount on, on all of them, and I decided, well, if there's a discount, I might as well pick it up. So here it is, picked it up. Today we'll be doing a unboxing, checking out what next-gen VR on PlayStation is like. So without further ado, let's start opening it up. Very nice. Okay, I'm trying. I want to be careful and not break the box, because, you know, it looks very nice. Hey, Editor Zebra here. Um, as you can see, I kind of got stuck here trying to take out the box. I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but let's just pretend like that didn't happen. Cool? Cool. Okay, nice. As we open it up, we get to see a box. Check out what's inside. Inside we get, I see the PSVR2 instruction manual. Very nice. Gonna read this in my free time. We also get the earbuds. These are very similar to the ones in the PSVR1. We also get a cable. I'm guessing this might be for controller charging. And then also we get the voucher for the game that comes with it horizon vr call of the mountain very nice let me put this box off to the side all right now let's open up the goods and let's start off with the controllers right here we have the controller a very nice protective bag Ooh. Here is the controller. Wow, this looks unreal. Compared to the PSVR 1, this is 100% an upgrade. Joystick feels good. Now I've heard that if you have like extra large hands, then this controller might be too small, but honestly, fits good, feels good, and is lightweight. Honestly, not bad. Of course, the second controller. So that was the right hand. This is the left hand. Kind of a weird design. But honestly, I kind of like it. Looks very, very nice. Very clean. Buttons sound good. And now I see the wrist strap, nice. And now the tech itself, the PSVR 2. It comes pre-installed with a wired, because it's obviously a wired headset, so here's the wire that you'll be plugging to your PlayStation. Let's see how we open it up. Um, I guess here, nice. And here it is, the Sony PlayStation VR2. Wow. This looks unreal. Looks very nice. The foam feels pretty good. And the design, honestly, I love the design. I think it looks clean, looks nice. We got the adjustable head strap. Honestly, I don't know how it works, but, oh, there it is. Very nice, and you can adjust the tightness, of course, which is cool. And then this right here allows you to adjust how far apart the lenses are. And this is nice because it's mechanical and not digital 
And then you can also see, I don't know if the camera will catch it, but there's these little lines around the lenses. And that's actually the eye tracking, which is really, really interesting. That's gonna be interesting to see how that plays in games. Obviously this is the, to extend it forward or back, which is nice. And then below we have the, I guess that'd be the power button, no, power button, maybe mic button. I don't know, I'm gonna have to check on the manual, but very nice, very cool. Yeah, I guess let's give it a try on the PlayStation and see how it feels to actually play in this. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and hook this up to the PlayStation. Now for PSVR 2, it's very easy. All you have to do, take this wire, unplug it from here. Actually, now you can just plug it into here. And boom, I am all set up. All I have to do, of course, is power it on. And then, oh, it looks like I got to update it. Let's do that real quick. Okay, that was quick. Um, okay, I guess let's put it on. Well, no, first we have to do the get started. Let's see. Connect these stereo headphones. They are connected. Pair your sense controllers. Okay, let's do that real quick. Put this off to the side. Gotta grab our controllers, of course. We need to connect them by wire. Honestly, kind of wish that they were able to do it wirelessly, but you know, it is what it is. Plug it in. Our controller, put it in the back. Do some updating. All right, so our right controller is connected and updated. Now it wants to do our left. So let's quickly, carefully unplug it. If I could, there you go. Set it down. Put it on. Okay. And one cool detail that I noticed is that the grip, it has a little texture and the little texture is, I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up, but it's a little PS shape. So it's got the triangle, the circle, the X, the square. I think that's pretty cool. Here we are almost updated with our controller. Okay, there you go. I guess I could disconnect it now. There you go. Put the wire off to the side. Put them down with an easy reach when you're ready to do the next step. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead, grab this. So apparently that's that was the pass-through button and not the what's it called? The volume button as I thought it was. Attention, very nice. Set up your room properly. Yeah. Adjust the brightness. That's kind of oh. Strong lights. Oh wait, no. So that's kind of unfortunate. Um, that's the same issue that the PSVR one had where tracking was dependent on light. And I mean, it kind of makes sense because I think he uses IR tracking, but kind of wish that it was a bit different. Okay, let's start checking next. Good. Start checking the brightness. Okay. So I do have my blinds like halfway closed, um, but I think it should be fine. Next, follow the on-screen guide on how to put on the headset. Pull out the scope. Okay. Easy. Done. Release the headband. And put it on. So let's put it on. And tighten that. Oh. Okay. 
um, done. Put on my stereo headphones. I'm not gonna be putting them on. I honestly kind of do not like them, unless it's gonna make me set them up, which I will. But until then, okay. We need to adjust until it's perfectly. There you go. That looks about right. And I gotta say, the quality right now, I see what I'm seeing is not anything too graphically intensive, but this is like very clear. I like it. Done. Here's the controllers. As you can see, they're lighting up. Well, got that screenception going on. I guess what it says, the right. I like the little effect that it has going on. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's figure out how to put this one on. There you go, got them on. Very nice, but probably should put on their straps. Uh, how to use, cancel, select, move. Oops. No, okay. Um, try next. Triangle square. The layout of these buttons is kind of weird, but it's fine. We got L1, R2, makes sense. I'm guessing this is options and create, okay. Hold the options to set the direction you're facing as print. So then, there you go. That's pretty cool, good feature. Adjust eye tracking. So this is exciting because now we have eye tracking. Adjustment will start in a few seconds. All right, I'm looking at it. Okay, this is dope. Imagine telling me my accuracy, whoa. Oh, okay, it's very light now. Okay. Not bad, that looks really good. Eye tracking is complete, try it and see how it works. Okay. Um, now let's set our play area. Look around. Uh, be careful while scanning. Okay, oh. Whoa, dude. This is crazy. Wow, okay. I see it's gonna capture the cable, but that's whatever. Gotta make sure everything is accounted for. Room scanning is complete, and I gotta say, that was, wow, that's an experience. Look at the floor, and it should appear, okay. Oh, wow, that is at floor level. Wow, okay. I see we're gonna be standing still and moving around. Look at the floor and look at your play area. That looks about right. This is wrong, but I guess we can start editing. To fix that, and all we gotta do is just add it in. Looks about right. Honestly, I have a pretty small uh, play space. That's completely fine. Next, finish editing. Yeah, I think that's good. Your area is smaller. Yeah, that's that's okay. Room scale would be fun, but I say small little apartment. But that's okay. We'll set it anyways. Wow. So this is really a lot like the MetaQuest experience. But honestly, PlayStation pass-through looks surprisingly good. It's very responsive. And I can actually look at the screen, even though that's ice in the way, but I can look at the screen and see it. Whereas in the MetaQuest, it'd just be a blurry mess. Um, okay. We're all set. Does that little effect as we go into the world of VR? Trippy, dude. PlayStation VR 2. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was the PS VR 2 unboxing. Very cool, very nice. Also, the setup. In the next video, we'll be doing some gaming. We'll check out uh, Horizon Call of the Mountain. Beat Saber Job Simulator, a true classic, and we'll see how it all feels in the brand new 
PSVR2. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.